So as you probably figured out from the title, this is not about hiking. This is about me and my current situation. I got COVID. It was not fun. It was bad. It was probably the sickest I've ever been in my life. I didn't go to the hospital, uh, but I just want to share my experience with you so that if you do get it or you think you've been exposed to it, you can address it properly, hopefully not go through a progression of it where it gets worse. Um, and then I'll give you a little update on how COVID is going to impact my hiking and my future plans here. So first of all, uh, my family and I have been very diligent about social distancing, wearing masks, um, you know, doing things outside, not going to restaurants, not really interacting with friends. And I still got it. Um, I think I got it through my son's school. Uh, just guessing, I have no idea where I really got it, but that's the, uh, the main culprit. His teacher got COVID, went to the hospital. We came home, they shut school down, they quarantined a few days later, I had it. So if you've been hearing on the news that schools are safe, maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't think this was in, in my instance, but you know, I'm not a doctor, so who knows. Now, when I first got it, it felt like I got the flu and then it was followed by a severe headache for a few days and then all of the classic symptoms like the cough and everything. The one thing I would have wished I knew about before was the headache. Uh, if you look at other countries, uh, not the CDC site, but other countries, they talk more about the headaches. And I think it was something like 75 to 80 percent of the people have a headache when they get it. So if you get a headache and you normally don't, kind of like a migraine, um, that could be it too. Now, what I wish I knew in the beginning was that if you do things when you first get it to bolster your immune system, you can reduce it and you know hopefully stop it from progressing. I'm not going to go into what all those things are, but what I am going to do is I'm going to put a couple links in the description of this video for resources that I felt were really helpful um, and things that, you know, weren't on the CDC kind of safe vanilla website, things about supplements, what to do to boost your immune system and what not to do, which was a little bit counterintuitive so that um, it doesn't go into your lungs and progress into something that requires you to get a ventilator. Now, um, Overall, I'm not going to get political, but this has been a very frustrating experience from, from every step of the way, trying to find information, official information. It's kind of uh, lacking. I remember when I first went to the CDC website to sign up for email updates, it would just crash, uh, have health insurance, and um, I couldn't even make a phone appointment with a doctor to talk to. So in that respect, it's just been, it's just been really frustrating. So if you do get it, expect to not only be sick and potentially fight for your life, but also to be frustrated um, by the process. So hopefully the resources that I'm giving you below will help. If you think you've been exposed or you know somebody that's been exposed, I would say take it seriously. I was sick for about, about three weeks. About a week of that was very severe, um, really kind of like a flu times 10. Um, it's scary, right? Because people are dying regardless of the age. And just as an aside, I don't have any pre-existing pre conditions. I don't have diabetes or anything like that. I'm healthy. I exercise every day. I hike. I eat healthy. And uh, for whatever reason, it just whacked me the wrong way. Now, I do know people who have gotten it, and it's just been mild. So who knows? But I would just say, if you think you have it, um, start bolstering your immune system right away. Um, that's it on COVID. What I'm going to have to be doing now, I've been basically on my ass for about three weeks to a month. So I'm going to start doing shorter hikes. You're going to see some shorter, easier hikes uh, up here on the website as I get back. There's not going to be any big killer websites or hikes um, for the next month or so uh, as I build my fitness up and get back up on the trails and get up into the mountains and do some longer and tougher hikes. Anyway, thanks guys for bearing with me. I know it's not my normal video, but hopefully it will be helpful to uh, someone who thinks they might have it or might have been exposed to it. Uh, it's not fun. Take it seriously. Please wear a mask and do all the things that they tell you to do. Um, I could see how if somebody older than me or frailer than me got what I had, uh, they would be in a, in a, you know, a much worse situation. And I would not wish that on anybody, anybody's family that I can come into contact with and uh, all that good stuff. So, Stay tuned for more hikes. Uh, we'll be building up over the next few weeks, and hopefully by, by late spring, we'll be uh, doing some big monster hikes again. All right, guys. See ya.